This is the uh, NEC AR10 Auto Reverser, and this is the Pico Diamond Crossing with uh, Electro Frogs. So they're live frogs on each end of the diamond using the AR10. I've got the output one wire to each of the frogs. So we'll try that. I'll just put this sitting uh, on my ON3 layout at the moment. And that's clear, so we'll stop him. And we'll come back. And we'll get the other loco going now. That's just on speed step 7. That doesn't have a keep alive um, inside. And that's just nice and smooth through there. And speeding up a little bit. Stop that there. On the you can see <coughs> you've got a normal and a um, reverse lead and a short lead there as well. So if there was a short I'll put a lead, um, lead in there as well, um, which I say you can do. So swapping those over, and we'll get the other loco to move. What we'll do, we'll recall that 588. We'll give them a run backwards. And you'll see the light will change. Yep, there we go. So it's just changed to swap over to the uh, the other track what I found important is that the connection the wires that are going into the uh, tabs they need to be a nice big piece of wire uh, so that it, uh, the connection is, is good not just a little one end tin, I bend the wire back and double it, so I get a good uh, good uh, surface contact. The other thing I'll show you is a sec. Another way, I've just got a lead with a 1K resistor on the negative side there, and I just put that across there, so you now see the lights come on, the green light there, so that's right, but we go this side and it won't come on. So it's just set set for this, this track here at the moment. And we do the same down the other end here. Do the same. Just working around the camera here. So there's there's the lead on. And you go the other side, the lead won't come on. So the power is being switched from the frog from that track or that track, whichever loco is running through. Both frogs are being changed to keep the run through, and that, and whether you've got a keep alive or not in your locomotive, uh, with the electro frog all alive, um, it's working very well. So we've got the the bus comes in, DCC comes in here, and on this side here, I just use green wires to each frog, so. That one's going up to this frog. This wire here is going to this frog. And uh, that's, you've got insulated gaps here. And that, and there, 
and you want to make sure that they are uh, clear that there is an absol ab absolute gap in both of those I've got insulated rail joiners on the um, on the frog and then that rail can stay to a positive which is the red bus this one's to the black bus I've actually added wires to the frog itself a positive and a negative uh, just to make sure that I've, I've got reliable contact and that I don't have any voltage drops so that's pretty much it I hope this is helpful to other people these are really good these are solid state uh, and that with transistors on board um, uh, a friend of mine Bruce Petrarca Mr. DCC he recommended uh, this to me so I picked this one up and it's better than the uh, the old um, AR1 which were not a um, uh, solid state so you need to get a solid state for DCC and uh, the auto reverser of the NCE has got everything that you want on it there and the good part is it's got a little leads there that you can show which one's working okay